All right, let's keep going. It is now Friday, the 26th of winter, 6 o'clock in the morning, and we're just going to go run over to the east side of town and take care of these things that I had mentioned moments ago. But I am going to do all the farming and stuff and get that out of the way. Looks like it's going to snow tomorrow, and the spirits are very happy today. Ooh, if they're very happy today, I might go down into the mines. Uh, yeah. So now that Christmas is over, I think I'm going to change my hat. And let's put, um, what are we going to wear? I'm thinking fedora. All right, it's time to put the Santa's hat away. All right, yeah, I think we'll go to the mines later today as well. So do we have a couple of roots platters? Yes, we do. Let me just grab, I think I might want to grab one. Oh, that's Autumn's Bounty. Wait a minute, wrong one. Bring four of those, and we got a bunch of field snacks. Yeah, because we might be down in the mines a while today, and especially if the uh, if the spirits are happy. Holy cow, look at this. We got wines and mail. Oh, it's Gus, the bartender slash candy cane maker. <laughs> Dear Punchwood, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. I know they're almost out of season. Sorry about the short notice. Could you catch one for me? Albacore. Uh, yeah, it's like a tuna fish. We can catch that in the ocean, maybe. When does he need it by? Uh, oh, there's no time on this one? Oh, sure. No time limit on that one, so we got all the time in the wild. And we're gonna make some more wine, so let's do... Should we do wines or make beers? Do we have any hops left? The wine takes forever. So let me see if we have any... Uh, we, have, we have hops. Let's do the hops instead. Let's make beers. I'm gonna make a lovely IPA. My favorite. My fa no! No, 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 no. Eat it. Oh, look at that. Crystal fruit wine. Oh, those sell pretty well, apparently. The crystal fruit wines sell really well. Uh, oh, gosh. Okay, I got a few more things to do here. So, hang tight. I'll be right back. Good morning, ladies. Give me your eggs. All right. I think we're all set here, and I'm going to sell these two crystal wines, and we'll see how much those are worth. Goodbye, Wilson. So let's get to, you know what, we don't even really need bud, I don't think, right now. We're going to go to the train. Let's use the train, and we're going to go to town. And first things first, let's go see Clint and give him his birthday gift. Good morning, Clint. I hear it's your birthday. Let's give him uh, blackberry jelly. Everybody loves a little blackberry jelly. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. Anytime, pal. How you doing today? The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year-round. Yes, I know. All right. Whoa, well, hold on. More? Depressing, huh? Uh, yes, it is. Now, listen. I got some things for you. If you don't mind. I, well, no. No, no, no. Stop the high-pressure sale. Let's go with some geo. This is from Jazz. <laughs> Jagoit. Jagoit. Oh, gosh. That sounds terrible. And that right there. And that is just golden ore. Bleh. Did we ever find Jago White? Yes, just once before. So I guess we'll sell that one. All right, bye, Clint. And now we're going to... Oh, hi, Jazz. Hey, guess what? I opened up that Geo. Look what I got. This thing is really amazing. Uh, I don't think I'm going to give it to you, though, because you probably won't like it. So let's just say hi. Do you like my bow? Oh, I love it. It's adorable. So you go into the museum? Come on, I'll walk you. I think she has class today. Yeah, Miss Penny, right? All right, you go first. Hello, Gunther. How we doing? I got a couple of things for you, buddy. We got a tool of some kind. Prehistoric tool. Put it over here with the prehistoric stuff. And a voodoo doll. And we'll put that down here by the computer. <laughs> sure. <laughs> we got a new reward. Yes. All right. Okay. That's all we have. That's all we have. Two's enough, isn't it? All right, give me that reward. Collect my rewards. What do we got here? A beer statue can be placed inside your house. It's fine at you. There goes my phone. Going nuts. Oh, that looks good. Let me let me check it out. Can I put it right here? Holy cow, it's gigantic. It's a Kodiak. It's a big brown bear. <laughs> I love him. Thanks, Gunther. That was worth the trip. Oh, I got a crocus. I have a crocus. This is for Jazz, just because she's such a nice kid. Jazz, I've got something for you. I love Brendan, thank you. Yeah, that's for being so thoughtful yesterday. You're a good kid. Oh, say hi to everybody. Hi, Vincent. 
It's pity since I have to read this book before I go play. She's right. Read the whole thing. Okay, what time is it? 12 p.m. I don't think we can catch the albacore until nighttime. So maybe we'll go up to the mines first and then get down to the ocean later on tonight. Sounds good to me. Oh, I haven't been to the quarry in a long time. Let's go to the quarry. The quarry. We just see a lot of rocks. Oh, here we go. Look at all the ores. Now I'm wondering if there's any coal here. Because I don't really don't care about this other stuff. I want the coal. I don't see any coal. Iron. Yeah, you know what? We don't need any of this. Let's go. I'll sell the topazes. Let's get up to the uh let's get to the mines. How far have we gone down in the mines? 115. Ooh. Dude, I think 120 is the max. Yeah, we could do this. We could do this today. A diamond. Wow. I love how that looks. That background color with the blue is really cool. A rare and valuable gem. Yes, indeed we do. All right, I don't know what's down on level 120, but we're going to try to find out today. The spirits are super happy, so we should get some ladders going down, and my phone is freaking out. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Oh, I love these spirits today. Spirits. And look at the train tracks here. Oh, that's coal. Oh, yeah. That should give you like 50 coal. <laughs> There's so few of those things. I'm gonna try to get under me. It's not gonna work. All right, I see a little metal head. Maybe we can get him to drop us a ladder. Well, it seems like we're getting pretty good ladders just with the uh, ow, with rocks. Man, they all want to go beneath you, don't they? Little rascals. Uh, 119. This is gonna be it right here. Magma geos, iron ore, cave carrots, all the essentials of life. A little magma geode. Didn't even see that. All right, let's whack some of this gold. Maybe we'll get another ladder. Omni geode. Was that just a regular rock? Hmm, that was pretty awesome. Coal? We get coal from regular stones, too. Did not know that. Oh, well, here we go. This is it. Down to level 120. Very excited. We have energy. We have health. Achievement unlocked. The bottom. We made it to the bottom. This is it. And there's a chest. Ooh. Crack my knuckles. And open it. Ta-da. New journal entry. You found the skull key. You're not sure what it's for, but it seems important. <laughs> it's been added to your wallet. Yay! I think we can use that to open something, like the sewers. And this is it. This is as deep as this stuff goes. We did it. Made it all the way down to the bottom. I think that key is going to open up the sewer pipe or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. All right, I think we should go. 4.30. Let's leave the mines. And I need to get down to the beach. I should have brought a beach totem. I've got three of them. Actually... Well, we can do that right here. We just go home and do it, right? Yeah. Let's empty the pockets, and then we'll go to the beach. And I have a beach totem to do that right quick. I'm going to keep the diamond mainly because, well, it's a diamond. So let's put that in the box. The other stuff I'm going to sell, with the exception of the geos, of course. But this uh, that can go, and we also have a couple of rubies already. So let's toss that in there. Keep carrot in the fridge and the big bear. The big hungry bear. Holy smokes. What are we going to do with this guy? Put him in the bedroom? I guess we could put him near LG Fun and the two bears together by the fireplace. We'll put him up here by the bed. Although that could be really scary waking up and seeing that in the middle of the night <laughs> when you're disoriented. Anyway, let's get to the ocean. Of course, we have to get back too. Warp directly to the beach. Consumed on use. Um, we're going to have to run back, though. Huh. It's a long run back. Oh, well. Let's just do it. Let's go catch something. Use it. How do I use it? Come on. Go to the beach. Oh, right click. There we go. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Did you see the fire? Woo! I would check for the Mariner, but the Mariner only comes out um, in the rain. Oh, I just heard Elliot. 
go indoors. Let's catch us an albacore. Oh, dang it, look at that. A lobster, another lobster. Good, 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 good. It's two lobsters. We can make some lobster bisque with that eventually, I think. Put the bait back on the fishing pole and let's catch us an albacore. Not on the beach, you dummy. Down here. What's going on? Skull key. You found a strange... Yeah. Oh, wait. Whoa. What a hit. Ooh. All right. This is definitely not an albacore. I think albacore is a pretty hard to catch. It's a new record sardine. Yeah. Pretty good. Hmm. New record herring. Wow. Breaking all the records today. Not a very difficult fish. Probably not an albacore. A uh, halibut, another world record right here. This is the best spot ever. Three world records in a row. <laughs> All I want is an albacore. Whoa, whoo, we got a tough one here. Yes, this is a tricky fish. This could be an albacore. Oh man, wow, I, if I even catch a darn thing. Holy smokes, he's tricky. There we go, there we go. Yeah, that's right, go to the bottom. Go to the bottom, you dum dum. Sit on the bottom, there we go. Oh. Ah, ooh. Come on, we got him, 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 don't, ah! We get him! A new world record squid, 40 inches! <laughs> Albacore, please! Oh, another squid, and a world record! It's five world records tonight. Is that because the spirits are very happy that we're catching all these big fish? I don't know. But I don't even care about the big ones, I just want an albacore. And another world record herring! World record halibut. They just keep getting bigger and bigger. I changed spots. We still have till about 2 o'clock in the morning, but we're not getting any tuna fish on the beach over there, so maybe we'll get one off the docks. Holy smokes, this guy! Alright, this could be one. I hope so, because I'm tired of fishing. <laughs> like, literally tired of fishing. Oh, man! Ah! You little stinker! We got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Squid. I know it's getting late. I need an albacore. Oh, all right, I give up. Forget it. Forget it. Hey, Willie. Where's all the albacore at? Out of time, out of energy, out of luck, out of patience. And now we got to hike all the way back home. All right, time for bed. This day is over. Good night, Wilson. We'll see you in the morning, and I will sell all these fish tomorrow. Here endeth day 26th of wintereth, year 1th. 1,500 gold. Did we get any level up? No. All right, let's keep going. It is now Saturday, the 27th of winter. 6 o'clock in the morning, and there's just like two days left in winter, right? Today... And then tomorrow, the 28th, and then we're done. And we'll be into spring, and I can't wait to get back to farming. I know, I never thought I would hear myself say that. But I did. I heard it. It's true. <laughs> I'm tired of the winter. And uh, coincidentally, it is snowing out right now outside my house. Coming down pretty hard. We have another nor'easter here. We could get up to a foot and a half of snow today. It's going to snow for like 24 hours straight. So, fantastic! Hopefully I can get this video done before we lose power, because we're most likely going to lose power. That's how it goes. I do have a generator, however, which is nice, but I usually lose the internet, too, and I cannot control the internet. So, anyway, let's get outside. Let's get to work. We have lots to do. And, oh, by the way, guess what I have right here? Albacore. I've got an albacore. I spent, like, six hours fishing for the darn thing. And I got one right here. I should have checked there first, obviously, but I uh, screwed up. And we're going to chuck all the fish in here. We're keeping all the fishies so that we can turn them into uh, quality fertilizer someday for the spring. Now, we don't have that recipe yet, but hopefully we can get that uh, soon. I think you need farming nine for the quality fertilizer recipe. All right, yeah, anyway, here's what we're gonna do. We gotta run. I wanna bring this hot pepper down to Shane, and we're gonna deliver the albacore as well, and we'll come back and do all the farming stuff later. I wanna catch Shane before he takes off. I think he works at Jojamart. Although it is Saturday. Hmm, think he's working on Saturday? I don't know. 
I don't know if it works on weekends. Ow! <laughs> We're gonna find out. I need a path here. Because I want to buy a new chicken. I want to buy a new chicken, and if you get Shane up to eight hearts, I think it is. Yeah, we're at seven now. If we get him up to eight hearts, and we buy a chicken from Marnie, there's a chance we might get a blue chicken. That's pretty cool. Oh, no, they're not open. 9 a.m. Holy cow. All right. Uh, I guess we can go gather some hardwood. Let's do that and keep an eye on that clock. That's going to go fast. It's going to be 9 o'clock before you know it. All right, we'll collect a bit of hardwood right quick and then get over to Marnie's. Okay, 9 o'clock. Got a bit of hardwood. Let's go see if Shane's around. Get that hot pepper ready. Oh! Oh, something's happening. Oh, there's Shane now. <laughs> He's just supposed to walk right past us. Hi, Shane. You look unusually happy today. That's Shane's aunt, by the way. You're right. I haven't felt this late since I was a kid. We look so happy. Let me guess. Gus had a clearance sale on canned beer. Oh, low blow, Marnie. Wow. Good one. Yeah, Shane had a bit of a drinking problem early on. No, actually, I've been drinking sparkling water instead of beer, and I feel great. Oh, glad to hear it, Shane. Good for you, buddy. You know, I sometimes forget that I really do have friends. People that care about me. And it's okay for me to rely on them. It doesn't make me weak. No, sir, it doesn't. Just makes you smart and a good friend and a caring person. He looks sharp. Where's he going? Hi, Jazz. I've got something for you. Oh, he's going to give Jazz a gift. Oh, look at that. Merry Christmas, Jazz. Oh, those slippers. Beautiful pink slippers. Th these are real bunny jewel slippers. Wow, the bunny jewel slippers. Everybody wants those, I think. But, but these are so expensive. How did you afford them? Don't ask questions, kid. <laughs> I've cut back on an expensive habit. I have a lot more spending money now. That's right. Wow, well, that's evolution and growth and development. Glad to hear it. Hi, Marty. Stay right there. I want to buy a chicken, possibly. Hey, buddy. How you feeling today? I'm renting my room for Marty at a really good price. It's small, but I can't complain. Hey, this sounds great. Hey, guess what? I got something for you. Hot pepper, just for you. Oh, wow, Punchwood. How did you know this is my favorite? Because you told me once. And dang it, he's still only at seven hearts. <laughs> I guess we're not getting a blue chicken today. Uh, what else can I give you? Can I give one thing a day? Dang it. Wow, I thought the hot pepper was going to send him over the edge, but oh well. Have you been in that strange tower west of my house? It's Embrasmodius Wizard. How many times do I have to tell you? One time I heard this terrible otherworldly noise coming from there. Yeah, yeah, he does some strange experiments. I'd stay far away if I were you. I would avoid that place if I were you. <laughs> yes, the feeling's mutual. Although I do visit him occasionally. Sometimes I look for crawdads in the river. Don't tell Aunt Marty, but I fed one to a cow once. Ew. Did he like it? She loved it. Oh, that's cool. And I love those slippers. Are those uh, bunny jewel slippers that I see on your feet? Those are amazing. Awesome. Somebody must really love you. Okay, bye. Oh, you going out? Okay, see ya. I'm gonna go play in the snow. Bye, everybody. Uh, I'm not gonna buy a chicken right now. I can't believe we didn't get to um, we didn't get to uh, eight hearts with Shane after giving him a hot pepper. Dang it! All right. Well, I don't know what else to do today. Uh, let me go grab all the rest of the hardwood over here in the little mystery forest, and then I'm gonna head into town. We'll bring the geodes over to Clint's, deliver that albacore to I believe it was Gus, right? Oh, skull key. Yeah, Gus wants an albacore, and then, um, I don't know. We'll take it from there, see what happens. Hello, good morning, everybody. Hi, Caroline. Don't you think Abby would look better with her natural hair color? No way, it's perfect the way it is. Why would you say so? She used to have light chestnut colored hair. And I'm sure that looks great, and maybe she'll do it again. But just gotta let the girl roll with what she wants to roll with, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Pierre, is it just me, or is there a cold draft in here? Probably a cold draft. It's winter! Anyway, all right, gotta run. Actually, let's see what you're selling here. What can we use? Get ready for the spring. Guy has nothing I want, with the exception of maybe, you know what, let's buy a couple of sugars and a couple of wheat because we can make some recipes with these, maybe even some rice. We're gonna just chuck that into the refrigerator and see what we can get out of it. And maybe even a couple of vinegar. Yeah, yeah, let's stock up. There you go. All right, let's go get these geodes processed. Hello, Clint. 
Dang it. I'm too old to do anything exciting anymore. All I have to look forward to is years and years of sweaty, hot furnace work. You know, Clint, you're such a big bag of happy. I don't- I can't stand it anymore. I don't- I can't take it. <laughs> Anywho, got some geos here for you. What is that thing? A lemon stone? I've never seen a lemon stone. Ooh. Magma geode has clay in it? Really? Oh, that was horrible. Anyway, let's take a, take a look at the lemon stone. Yeah, that's the first lemon stone I've ever seen. It sure is. Some claim the powdered crystal is a dwarvish delicacy. Ooh, maybe we could give it to the dwarf. Nah, let's go give it to the uh, curator of the museum, Gunther, and maybe get a reward. We just got a reward the other day, so I doubt he's going to give us another one. Oh, look who it is. Smelly Elliot, pretending to read like he knows how. Ha, right. Hey, Gunther, check this out. It's a lemon stone. Dwarves love them, but I'm going to give it to you, okay? I'll put it right over here with the other minerals and rocks and thangs. No reward. Dang it! What's wrong with you, son? Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out of there and do some treasure hunt, huh? <laughs> That's what I do half the day. Uh, all right, let's go. Nothing going on here. Look who it is. Leah. Best girlfriend ever. Ten hearts. Hi, Leah. Hello, Punchwood. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Oh, yeah. Actually, um, <clears throat> I'm not quite ready to talk about it yet. But, uh, yeah. Okay. I guess we're going inside. Hey, Shane. You heading into the saloon? All right. You first. Well, well, well. What a lively crowd. Things are picking up here. Hey, Gus. I got your thing. I got a big old fishy for you. Hi there, Punchwood. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. <laughs> well, I hope so. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to be the most welcome person here once I give you this big old albacore catch. Hi there, Punchwood. I'm glad... Holy cow, did I miss? Bring Gus an albacore. That was an albacore, was it not? Oh, something got messed up. That dude didn't do anything. Maybe because he's busy working? Uh-oh. Looks like I'm going to have to catch an albacore after all. Hi, Pam. How you doing? Pam is not responding. <laughs> oh. What did I... Something I said to you at the festival, maybe? All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We are going to play our song, Wild Horse Radish Jam. And I'm going to give Leah... Wait, can we even give Leah anything? Oh, no, we can't. We're already giving Leah two gifts this week. Ah! All right, all right. Well, uh, hey, Marty. I got something for you. Thank you! Eight hearts with Marty. Ooh, that's special. I always see Clint here, but he won't talk to anyone. He just glances over his shoulder now and then. Yeah, he's a big barrel of laughs, that Clint. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, okay, well, anyway, gotta run. Well, gonna head back to the farm and do the farming that I should have done earlier, but neglected. And then I guess we're gonna call it quit. So, yeah, not a very exciting day, but had to be done. The day had to be done. Hey, Wilson! Buddy, how we doing? Hold on. Yeah, I'm gonna come. I see it! Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. Yeah, maple syrup. I love maple syrup. Okay, wait a second. Grab the pail and the watering can so we can go give Wilson some water. And I'm going to get all this stuff put away. Ooh, the beer's up. Beer is up. Wow, that was fast. And it is pale ale. Awesome. It's my favorite beer in real life. It's the only thing I drink anymore. Pale ale. And we will sell some of that and maybe give some of it away. Yeah, I don't know. No, don't eat the hops. Put it in the keg. There we go. Wilson, come here. Got you some water, buddy. Poor old Wilson. All he gets is water. And there's our maple syrup. Mm mm mm. Grab all the mayo. Get the eggs. He's trying to sleep. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Yeah, I can't pet them while they're sleeping. <laughs> they're all trying to sleep. Okay, I don't want to wake them up. Is that? I got a, a purple egg. What the heck is purple? I've never seen a purple egg. Look at that. Purple. What does it mean? It's a sign. I don't know. Seems like a good sign to me. I don't know. <laughs> Amazing. Are you guys awake? Franny? Oh, no. I'm trying to sleep. Brownie's trying to sleep. You guys look the same. Sorry. I guess I can't milk them while they're asleep, huh? Uh, I'm going to try. I don't know. 
Oh, yes I can! <laughs> I can milk them while they're asleep. You didn't see anything. <laughs> Bye. Well, I don't want to turn that purple egg into mayonnaise. That's something special, so I'm going to hold on to that one for sure. And I'll have to look it up and find out what's going on with that. We'll sell those beers, sell that crystal wine, because we do have another wine, so no big deal there. And I think, yeah, I think I'm going to get to bed early. The sooner we get to bed, the sooner spring will be here. Oh, here's Wilson. Good night, buddy. Don't want to wake him up either. Man, I'm disturbing everybody in their sleep. Hey, Grizz, how we doing? Look at Grizz. <laughs> He's huge. Good night, LG Futton. Let's climb into bed and see how well we did. Oh, wait. Actually, one more thing I need to check. I want to see if we actually gave the albacore. Yeah, the albacore is gone. I definitely gave Gus an albacore. But it didn't register. So I guess maybe that is some kind of a bug. Or I gave it to Emily by mistake. That could have happened. Uh, I'm going to have to check the video and see if I screwed up or if it's just some kind of a weird bug. Anyway, going to bed for the night. Here endeth day 27th of Wintereth year. What if? And a pretty good haul. 3,000 gold, mostly from farming. Crystal fruit wine, 450. Wow. And the beer sell for 300 apiece, too. Not too shabby. All right, that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. We'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.